Stanley, how's it going in, in, in uh, Ontario right now? Yep, uh, Andreas, it is, as I said, it is, um, it is strict. Uh, it has changed a lot in the past week since they started the stay at home. Stay at home order, when you hear that, it is literally uh, a terrible news, a fearsome news. But the essential things are going on. Essential things are happening. You can go to a Walmart or Costco, but definitely no church, no personal gatherings. And uh, I don't really understand uh, the logic behind it. But uh, as I said before, the governments, they are taking actions on based on what they know or what they are forced to believe. Even though they don't believe it in their person, right? They have to do that. So now, for example, the premier of um, Ontario, Doug Ford, he's a very strong man, he's a good man. Um, but now he have different, whatever they do, whatever the government do, there will be some kind of criticism, right? Yeah. If they do something, for example, if we talk about the Christian's perspective, right? right? So if they do something on the Christian's perspective of faith, and they are going to face another bunch of people on the other side, they don't like it. For example, as we said, if I have a friend who is not a believer, who, who doesn't believe in faith or God's protection, but they make sense with their own logics and the science and all the proof what the WHO or the top doctor saying. So they have their own way of protection because they are afraid of this because they don't know the exact detail. The fear comes from Bible says perfect love will cast out every fear. So yeah. perfect love is Jesus. Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. Then Jesus is the one who can give you a real faith on your life, your, your guarantee on your life. So we know that nothing can knock me down. Nothing can kill me before my time. Doesn't matter if it's a virus, doesn't matter whatever happens. So our faith is based on that. And on the other side, on a worldly perspective, if I ask the Prime Minister of Canada or the WHO top doctor or even to the Pfizer vaccine, are yeah. your vaccine is going to give me a 100% guarantee? You know, yeah. I wanted to ask like what this vaccine is going to do in my body. At least if they can explain that, more people have confidence in vaccine. So basically, yeah. they don't have a proper answer. But since they have a fear, they have to obey what is known what is being told. It yeah. can change even after two weeks, but they are okay with that. So that is a kind of a uh, slavery, I would say. It's kind of a bondage. And that's why we say the truth only can set you free. Because yeah. we are not afraid. Because I always say that dying is easy, but living is hard. Yeah. So now the government authorities are crushed between these two kinds of a fight. One, the people of faith say, you know, we are okay to go ahead, you know, this this is a this is a lie this is there is a lot of things which is not clear i don't say it is a complete lie i believe that yeah. there is a virus i believe that there are issues yeah but not everything is true that is yeah. my take but on the worldly perspective a guy who believe completely into science completely into the evidences in front of him he is forced to believe even though they say it's a free world they are forced to believe that someone has researched about it yeah so in that way, I'm so happy to believe what God has told me, right? <laughs> so, so then the governments are kind of a forced. Uh, any decisions, if, if, for example, our premier is Doug Ford, he issues an order to open all the churches. He's going to face a lot of opposition in the government for doing that. But we will be happy, right? Yeah. But on the other side, if we say the churches are closed, Correct. they're not allowing us to meet, yeah. then they, my friend who is a very good friend of me, but he don't have faith in God. He's a very good friend. He said, you know what, Stanley? We should lock this down. We should yeah. allow. We should not allow people to come together because this is scary. So this is yeah. a situation now going. It's a very tough call for the government side. What What is your opinion on that, Andrews? Like, what do you think about that? Well, yeah, you see, I'm. I'm. There's two camps. Like, you know, there's the the, like, okay, I want to get some insight behind this is that now a lot of people are saying this pandemic is not a pandemic um it's actually a cover to bring in a global reset whether it's in the financial industry uh some governments are using it to get locked down on their society take advantage of their enemies uh politically maybe or and and, and this is i'm talking about different countries right and then the church 
church members in the various countries, they're caught in the middle a lot of the times. Some of them are involved in the political arena. Some of them are not. Uh, in China, for instance, these lockdowns, I mean, the government, mm -hmm. they can do whatever they want. Um, in Canada, we have a, you know, a constitution and uh, we have a constitution. I just lost you there. It's okay. Yeah. We have a constitution in Canada, 1867, and then it was rewritten in 1982, I believe, uh, amended, that we have, uh, we're, we're, you know, and, and as a Canada, we have a right to, to voice out as voters against these things, uh, how we should interact in, in society. And the problem is right now, I was talking to you earlier about, there's a lady I met in a, in a, in a drugstore, and she basically said, man, this is the most converse, common sense conversation I've had with somebody about this. She was so upset about the, the recent closing of Mexico and Caribbean uh, travel and, you know, all the things that you need to do after a hotel and stuff. But what I'm trying to dialogue with you and others is that we got to come out of this uh, because the the pharmaceutical companies, it's a win-win for them. They can make money on vaccines. People like Bill Gates, I don't know personally, <laughs> like many of us do, but we know that he's got lots of interest in selling the vaccines. And I wouldn't really trust anything I, I, based on what his father believed, his father was actually a believer of, you know, population control. And these things have to be talked about in the government. And like you said, I think Doug Ford and a few of the premiers are all pretty up and up people. They're squeezed. They've got, um, they've got to make a call um, that's, that's safe, but yet they don't want to... Um, <laughs> You know, they're final decision or take a call. Yeah, they, they've got to make a call that kind of like everybody's comfortable with. But you see, I don't think going back into lockdowns is doing anything. We see cases rise because there's more testing going on. But death, death rates, I, I, I mean, what I've seen statistically, death rates haven't really increased that much up until September of last year compared to the year before. So if this is such a, uh, you know, a, a pandemic where it's wiping out people, yeah, okay, let's let's lock down and get a control of it. But this is not happening. This The, the data there is not indicating, you know, our neighbors are dropping like flies. Our, our church members are dropping like flies. We, we get people that have had it. And I know it's been, I'm not going to minimize that. I've heard people say they've known somebody that has had it, but they've, they've gotten through it. Um, like, and some of them did tell me it was like a cold, it was like a bad flu. Mm -hmm. So there's something, there's, there's the demonic forces here. Uh, you know, we, we, we know that in the, in the word of God, there's a principalities. Now there, you, it, I think this is just too exaggerated. And so we've got to start getting out of out of this, and the government in power federally is 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 a is a is a as a government that wants to do this global reset, and all these different things. So this is tied into this. It's not a medical thing. A lot of doctors, you know, Stanley have been shut down uh, in Canada, blacklisted for talking about yeah uh, common sense. Like we got to start opening up again. Yeah. So there are, uh, you know, as you have been talking, these are the main, um, main discussion topics these days being one is our constitutional right. Second is who is being benefited by this reset. Third is about the government's take on this. Fourth, is what is COVID, right? Yeah. So in March, uh, beginning of the March, um, I've been spending some time in prayer. So I would tell you a short story what happened. Uh, I used to visit hospitals and pray for the people. Um, so in March 22nd, I was visiting a, one famous hospital in Kawartas and I was coming back home. As soon as I was exiting that palliative care, uh, the nursing superintendent told me, um, you know, uh, you know, please be careful. There are COVID patients around, right? It's, it's, it's already been admitted in this hospital. So be, take your necessary precautions. There is no mask or nothing in those days. Yeah. As I was driving back, it's a 100-kilometer drive, I started feeling pain in my body, shivering, yeah. 
even my nails, my bones, everything is paining my head and neck. So I started getting a kind of a fear. Am I yeah. infected? As soon as yeah. I get home, I told my wife and kids, you know, I'm going to use another room. I'm going to sleep there. You know, I just want to take a rest. I feel that I'm not really great. I was shivering in the entire body. I started, I never had such kind of a crush in my body. You know, it's crushing everywhere, so pain. Early morning around five o'clock, uh, Holy Spirit woke me up and told me to pray. Yeah. So I came to my, this room, this is the office and the prayer room. I came down and started praying. And then I got, I got a voice that pray in spirit, pray in tongues. I yeah. started praying in tongues and praying in spirit. What happened? Suddenly I started experiencing whatever the symptoms being told us, COVID symptoms, shortness of breath. By God's grace, I have no medical conditions, right? First yeah. time I'm experiencing a shortness of breath. You have breathing difficulty. In, in next 10 to 15 seconds, I can, I can feel a heavy headache. In next 10, 15 seconds, I can see my back is breaking and my nails and fingers are... So in 10 seconds, 10 seconds, I can feel all the symptoms. Those were mentioned as COVID symptoms. Yeah. Then I heard a voice. This COVID, it's a spirit. A spirit yeah. of fear, of sickness and death. Definitely, it can be a definition by the medical science virus. I'm not against it. It can be a virus form. Definitely, yeah. I'm not against that. But the COVID is more than that. It's a spirit. It can yeah. transfer from one person to another. Doesn't matter who you are, how healthy you are, what age you are. Maybe you are in the group of a 10 people. Two people got infected. Eight people never. Husband got yeah. infected. Wife never got infected. Prime ministers or big diplomats are getting infected. Athletes, they yeah. have very strong body. They are getting infected. Some people are recovering, some people not. So basically, there is no definition on your, your immunity. Then I yeah. heard a voice pray in spirit. I started praying in spirit in tongues for next 15, 20 minutes. After around 20, 25 minutes, something has departed from me. And I became a complete free man. And God yeah. gave me this message to share to everyone. This is a spirit. The spiritual immunity only can keep you safe in this COVID. And next couple of days, I had some kind of a, you know, uh, uneasiness, but I was completely free. I never checked. I don't know what it was, but God has shown me through my body experience. This is what COVID is. I was on a yeah. 40 days of fasting from February 29th till March mid, you know, uh, April mid. So then uh, th that was the time I was going through. Then I got yeah. a great confidence on what this stuff is. So yeah. now this is a spirit. So with the spirit only we can overcome this. And when yeah. you say about constitution, yes, definitely constitution. In, in, when I was back in India, we say freedom is my birthright. You yeah. know, I have the right to say what I want to say, the right to say what I want to eat, and the right to worship where I believe or what I believe. But... There is a clause. Your freedom, your exercise of freedom should not affect somebody else's freedom. So now, yes, Canada have a wonderful constitution based on the faith and based on what, you know, they made it. But today, in this yeah. constitution, you have more number of people in the eyes of politics who can overturn these decisions today. That's those who doesn't believe on the faith on which this constitution was made. I would always rather say this nation, Canada or US or these nations are blessed on some values, right? Yeah. So when you cut that values, it is like cutting the root of a plant, of a tree. Yeah. It will dry. So today, even though the constitution, what was made and the faith, what we were following, that made this nation great. But now inside Canada, we have a lot of people who doesn't believe on those values on which this constitution is made. So they are not hesitant to overturn the constitution. They are not hesitant to stop or run against this constitution. So now yeah. when it comes to the politics, they are looking into a majority who can change constitution. Exactly this is what is going to happen in US now. They are going to change the constitution. They are going to change everything which was written down. They are going to change the names. The second amendment you know because now they have the power to change those constitution on in 1877 and 1980s when canada made so now there it is heading now again looking yeah see, see, why it and, happened <laughs> yeah it, it, and you're touching on 
how this COVID is being used by, unfortunately, exactly. people in, that are ruling the, call them the Soros dark money or the, exactly. the, 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 the globalists. They're using this COVID to change governments. You just, you just said it. That is exactly what I was trying to make people think who are watching this. Now, the government, it can be Doug Ford, it can be Trudeau, it can be Jason Kenney, they are just a puppets in the hand of that big force, forcing them to make that kind of regulations on the sake of the power. Yeah. Now, the people, the number of votes is going to decide who they want. They don't want Andrew Scheer, they want Justin Trudeau, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> so now... Well, yeah, and this is... <laughs> And this is tying into the election fraud, you know, using these machines. Yeah. Uh, you know, like Trump clearly won the election, I believe. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, there was forces that wouldn't hear his cases in court. So there, there also, the plan A was exactly one year before the U.S. presidential elections, this virus was released. And I strongly believe that it has been purposely uh, targeted the U.S. cities. You know what they expected plan a president trump will take strong actions to put the people's freedom into jeopardy you know he will force people to wear masks to control but they were wrong he didn't do that if he would have done that the americans would have been against president trump right they will vote against then what the liberals will say or democrats this is a free country we are going to introduce freedom but president yeah. did not fall into that trap now they have right. a plan b if he say no to that, we are going to introduce social distancing. That is the remedy. Masking. In that way, we can have more postal ballot now because you cannot come together, right? So that yeah. will encourage. That was the plan B. Even in the plan B, he was succeeding. That's why they created plan C on five sink states, made everything ready on the side. If he was winning on this, 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 we will introduce this checkmate. It's all a game that what way. Um, and, and you know what? God's giving us wisdom to see this. Yes. And again, we're not going to be coming out of this lockdown very soon because in Canada, they want to change the money system. They want more people to become dependent on handouts. Uh, the middle class, we know the business community, they're suffering uh -huh. and businesses are going bankrupt day by day because they can't keep you know, they can maybe do takeout now in Ontario, like you told me, yeah. but they can't have enough people to really make a, you know, maybe stay on top of the, the bills. But in a lot of cases, they're just giving up now. And this is what happened in New York. Uh, you know, we saw lots of businesses leave that city and uh, family businesses closing. And most of the middle, the, the, the capitalism that we have been born and raised with is based on a strong middle class yeah. we don't have rich rich uh top and poor 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 communism always had a kind of it didn't really have much of a middle class it was either you're a communist member or you're working in a factory or you know maybe you know there's some management levels but not like an entrepreneur that's why i always define socialism as the worst side of capitalism you know that is everything there is a worse side that is not happening yeah. in america worse side is few people have everything they wanted power money and few people are always under poverty always under certain rules so yeah in 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 american capitalism or canada like everybody have the freedom to run your own business you can make how much ever money you want but yeah. in socialism it is like only few people holding power money and they take decisions and the and that's Exactly, Stanley. And this is why we need to keep this discussion going. Uh, I can't even watch mainstream media right now. I mean, with the exception of a few people on Fox, yeah, uh, I've turned to different news sources because there's no one asking hard questions about how we're coming out of this. And they're not they're not being they're not being blunt to say, you know, we're dealing with socialism here because these companies are owned by, you know, uh, maybe a half a dozen large corporations even in canada global is connected to you know maybe uh they own different stations across the country so they have a mandate of what they can and cannot say that cbc they don't really have any conservative perspectives there's only say rebel news or true north media 
or True North Canada, and maybe the National Post and some yeah. Sun outlets. So what we're discussing here is something more people want to hear. Yeah. And we've got a we've got some MPs in Ontario that are really bold, like Randy Hillier. Mm -hmm. Is that his last name? I think. Yeah. And, and I think right now I'm in BC, which is on which is kind of NDP, but NDP's kind of you know NDP's a little bit in between. Yeah, not they, they don't have their own stand, right? They all. I always wonder where were they been when this pandemic hit. I never heard anything from any NDP leader, right? They were all yeah. silent. They were just watching yeah. it, where to put it, the ball. They, they, well, Singh, you know Singh. Um, I just want to say something about him. I I mean he's a Sikh. Uh, Sikh. Uh, I don't know much about them, but I did grow up with some of them, and they are very conservative mm -hmm. in some ways. Uh, you know, um, I'm not gonna. I don't know. I can't speak for the party because I'm not a member. But mm -hmm. I, but I do know what I what I observe is that they're kind of quiet. The, they want to grow in power. They want to see a liberals take taken down, yeah. just like the the conservatives. So. Um, I think, but they are getting handouts from the government because they they are propping the government. So, you know, that's a whole other discussion. Maybe we because can talk about. Because the first agenda of most of the politicians, you know, I started thinking about that after I see President Donald Trump. You know, all yeah. the politicians, 99% of the politicians are either they are behind the power, they want power, right? Basically, yeah. rather than serving people, they need the parties, you know, any party, the party's agenda is first party is first right yeah. that, that's how they are and they have been allowed only to speak these things they have a party caucus if they are allowed to speak only these things based on the study and evaluation by the brains behind the party right correct Same thing. it can be conservative it can be liberal it can be ndp they are basically or mere puppets in the hands of the dark evil force which is behind all these things which happen you know i've been i've been traveled to almost every countries you know yeah. I've been to Europe, I've been to Australia, New Zealand, UK. You know, I was shattered to see those nations are falling down. And exactly that is what's happening in Canada now. In in, yeah. in, in in US, US, but it was holding when Trump came. It was a wall. But yeah. now again, it's going back. So basically, there is a big force behind it. Those forces are silent outside, but they are working well planned to pull this down. And they are using every party. Every point yeah, and, they, and that's why a lot of independent MPs are kind of they they can maybe step in the gaps and um, you know we do know that Tron, uh, Trump is uh, he's called the he's got an office now in Florida. Yeah. All eyes are really on the Americans right now because some some sources uh, Simon Parks and some of these guys that I've mentioned in some of my videos Charlie Ward. They, yeah. they believe that the U.S. is under military control right now. Technically, Biden's not been, he can't access the, the Pentagon. That's, this is what some sources say. They, they, they yeah, say but the, uh, the thing is that we cannot, you know, we have seen several videos like this people are doing from their basements, but there is no official um, message or anything on this, right? So we cannot really, ask, I really love to do the way they are saying to happen the way, but there is no credible, there are a lot of information where out, there are a lot of videos, it's going to happen that and this, nothing happened, right? We're waiting, yeah. Well, yeah. no, like what I'm saying is, like, we're, we're just little guys, we, yeah. we hear, and, but you know what, I mean, I think there can be some truth to that, because most yeah. of the art in the States, uh, many believe is behind Trump, right? The military. Yeah, yeah definitely, uh, there, 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 is, there are some truth, but not everything. Because no. in every situation, there are little guys, there are some people who want to make some rating, some kind of a name, and they just they just talk about things. You know, I I don't I don't believe in everything what they say oh, because the sure. U.S. is a big constitution. It's a it's a big uh, Republican country where the things are not only under one person, right? It is it is no it's exactly it's beyond exactly Stanley. Like you know, take a guy like Lance Walnew or some yeah. of the different ministers. Well, you know what I'm saying. There's right. there there are people. Let, let's put it this way. The constitutionalists versus the globalists. Yes, they're, 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 this is what's going on right now. Call it a civil war. Yeah, and COVID's kind of all over the place, and uh, fascinating dis discussion. And we want to see, like you know, the biblical mandate for all of this is exposed. We we need to expose. Yeah, you know, so like, that like is a good thing. That is a good thing which is happening. 
the swamp yeah. has been exposed. In yeah. olden days, people used to get misunderstood because of the false information. The truth was hidden. But now, no one have an excuse in that, right? The truth is exposed. People know what is exactly happening. But still, if they are not able to take a decision in favor of the truth, then there comes God's judgment. Then there the intervention of God comes. When God comes, he is not working on the basis of so-called majority or the human efforts. He just come and he intervene and he approve yeah. things. And that is what we have to pray. But the thing is that this authority has been given to us as Christians to speak yeah. out the power of God through our mouth. Because 2000 years back, Jesus Christ came to this world. He died and he resurrected. He went back to heaven. And for him, it is you and me are in this world to, 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 to transfer that power into the place where we live through the power of the Holy Spirit. There is a Jesus in Antrias. There is a Jesus in Stanley. I cannot yeah. go the place where Antrias is going. I cannot deal with the people where you are going to meet tonight or today evening or tomorrow morning. Because you are in BZ, I am in Ontario. I meet with a different bunch of people than my pastor or, yeah. or my other friend. So there, there is a Jesus which is in me, that is our Jesus Christ, to be displayed to the people I am meeting. That yeah, well, think of, think, of, think of what John Calvin, I believe, said. Hmm. He said, when God wants to judge a, uh, a nation, uh, I, what is it? He, he'll bring a wicked ruler, right? Yeah. So we, you know, Christians, if we, we, we can vote, we have that right. So we, we want to see the most righteous individual out of all the candidates, all the decision making, the MPs, the school trustees, we want to see the, the most, uh, you know, One God, yeah, God led, yeah. God led decisions. The only way we're going to come out of this, this whole situation, like we were talking about lockdowns is people getting getting closer to god and crying out just like uh you know when prophet Jer was it prophet uh jonah, jonah. you know told, told uh the the, the nineveh. nineveh nineveh they prayed and fasted and then he was upset that they kind of came to the lord and it's it's almost like what's happening now is the same thing you know um and and right now it's like a, it's like we're on a balance is it going to go down to the the ungodly societies, socialism, communism, or we're going to get back up. Are we going to go back up into what the constitution of America and the, you know, our founders, Judeo Christian values. And then, you know, and it's exciting. And, I, yeah. and it's like every day I'm waking up and we're in that battle, Stanley. Yeah. As you said, God is a mastermind, right? Before he put out a judgment, he will make sure that he have enough proof, red caught, you know, red-handed. He, he will yeah. get every proof in front of his table so that nobody will be able to say, oh, why you did like that? Now, the entire Americans, entire people know what is happening, right? So God yeah. is such a wise God and a mighty God. When people stand in front of him, they will not have any choice to oppose his decisions, right? Exactly. Same, before God do a judgment, he will give, but he's a loving God. He give chances over chances over chances. So Pharaoh of Egypt, he got nine chances, right? Nine chances. I but know. still, he decided to get into God's wrath. And that's what's happening right exactly. now. God and asked only one thing. Let my people go. Let yeah. my people go and worship. That's the only thing. But he decided, no, I'm going to chase down. No, no, that's not going to happen. Their God is going to intervene. There is a Red Sea waiting for them. So God is. I think, that, God. I think that's a good note to end this this yeah. uh, little little uh, chat about that. We're waiting for you know, we, not that we're waiting for Moses, but we're we just got to keep in prayer right now and say, Lord, deliver us. Yes. And and, and then you know the various uh, government individuals and the various legal. Uh, courts will deal with all these because we want to know when we're older how was this COVID situation recorded in history was it recorded that it was dealt with correctly mm -hmm. or was this a was this actually a, a part of the global reset yeah. and we want the truth to come out I believe God is going to make sure that the truth will come out 
because throughout the human history, every time any pandemic came, any catastrophic natural calamities came, every time it came out nicely. 1917, the, the big flu which came, Spanish flu. In uh, 1914, 15 and the First World War, 1940, Second World War, even after every calamity, the world became a better place. Our science, yeah. our morality, our community, our society became better and better and better and better. And I believe that this is another filter God is allowing to happen so that the better things will come out. I believe in that. And That's the final good... filter will be the second coming of Jesus Christ. He will take his people from this world. But I don't think this is the final filter. <laughs> this is not the yeah. end. This is not yeah. the end, but this is the beginning of an end. That's what I believe. This is the beginning of an end. So it can be another 10 years or 20 years. I don't know. It's in God's hands. But yeah. as you said, definitely God is going to clear this mess by filtering a lot of things and bringing the best out of it. And everybody will praise God for that in the coming days and coming generation. Yeah, that's a good. And, you know, Stanley, if you can leave, I'll just leave it with this, is that the more godly our leadership is in every country, the more godly, uh, I'm talking even degrees, some some. Prime ministers believe in God, but maybe they're not born again or whatever. Trump is a new Christian. Apparently, he was born again a few years ago. Um, we pray for these guys like Biden and Trudeau. We don't hate these people. Yeah, definitely. We don't, we don't hate our MPs, our, our no. premiers. We, we we pray that that actually they need help. God hits them. They need help. We, yeah, they need. And you know, they 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 need the Lord just like we're all we're all exactly. we're all we all need it. So let's just, you know, I, I'm just going to say to you know, anybody who's listening to this, you know, just let's be in prayer. And if you've got any discussions, uh, send them to Stanley or myself, because uh, this is what we wanted to talk about today. Amen. I think it's really good. We touched, we touched on a lot of things. So yeah. Stanley, it's been a pleasure chatting about this. So let's see how it goes in the next few days. And, Thank you uh, Andreas, for this uh, this wonderful time, and there's really something great God want us to do. And uh, we will just close down with a small prayer for everyone who's listening. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, sure. Lord, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful time. I uh, really thank you for our brother Andreas and his heart and his passion for uh, uh, speaking for God's kingdom and to encourage other people. Lord. Today we pray for all our dear people, especially we are praying for our leadership. Lord, they really need help. We pray for our Prime Minister and all the Prime Ministers of other nations, our MPs and MPPs. Lord, they need help. They don't have any answer. They just move the way the information and the data they have. But we want you to open their eyes and so that they will see God's wisdom. We pray for Canada. We pray for every provinces. We pray for our neighboring country, United States of America. Also, Lord, we pray for each and everyone who is watching this commentary today. Lord, we bless them. Whatever anxiety they are going through, whatever things they are facing today, God is in control and that is the reason why I am alive today. God's plans about me is not over yet. I'm going to see his righteousness in my life, in my family's life. In the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And I say perfect love casts out all fear. Amen. So, Lord, we, we know that you're the healer. And, Lord, we know that this lockdown thing is not of you, God, uh, in the sense that you want us to be free, healthy, and the enemy comes to destroy and to bring fear. So we pray, Lord, right now um, for this discussion to, to, to grow and to build faith, God, not to fear, God, because we know that uh, you're you're a God of love. Yes. So I, I I pray for us to get tighter in you with prayer, and especially praying for our our neighbors and our doctors and our and I pray for the the individuals that run the WHO organization and the mm. all these you know sit, these groups that maybe are are actually anti God everything. I pray for communist China, God. I pray that the church, I th I pray the cracks of that uh, uh, empire will will start to break, yes. where a revival will come, Amen. and uh, and revival in our homes, God. Protect our families and our loved ones in Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Amen, brother. We'll leave it at that.